Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP, Rob Shiva. It's been a couple days since I've uh, done any videos, but this is one of those videos that just, like, you savor it because you finally get to see the fucking craziness of what racist people actually think and how they think. It's really fucking strange when you watch it and you just realize, like, these motherfuckers are just out of their mind, you know? And, uh... You got to see this. You just have to see this for what it is. It's very, very odd. You know, uh, let's take a look at this. Without further ado, guys, let's uh, let's check this out. And say I'm white. You're causing people alarm. Concern? Oh! You're causing people to move out of your way? Oh, really? Because I'm walking through and saying I'm white? Because I'm saying I'm white? I have a privilege as a U.S. constitutional person to say I'm white! Okay, but you don't have a I'm right white. to be intoxicated, and I can smell it on your breath. Well, you know, I'm white. I'm white. Okay. Are you gonna arrest me because I'm white? I don't know what Are you're you getting at. Me that's, that's, I've never said anything about that, so okay. I don't know what your point is. Cynthia Rowland continued to refuse their orders until the officers decided they were done with their riveting arguments. Where's your ID? I, I don't have to show you my ID. I'm in the You're not going to show me your ID? I, I don't have to Are show you Are you going to give him your ID? Yes, you do. Show him your ID right now. I'm investigating public in talks. Are you done? Settle I'm done. Down. I think we're good. Excuse me. Stop. Excuse Don't resist. me. Don't resist. We're done. However, this was just the start of a needlessly frustrating arrest. All I did was say, are you okay. white? This is great, guys. If you saw these words here on the bottom, she said before, all I said was, I'm white. Now she's changing it to, I said, are you white? <laughs> so now. You know, she figured that if I change it from I'm white to are you white, it'll extract the racism. But you can't, you can, you may be able to slightly extract that, but you don't take out the crazy aspect of it. Like right now, the way this woman sounds is like she's a fucking nut. Okay? Walking around the streets yelling that she's white or, or the airport or wherever the fuck she is. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. So when people go around stating and claiming, that they're white or they're black or they're yellow or they're whatever fucking color that they are, there's definitely something more, uh, something like more going on at this point, and it's something that she needs to be in a mental hospital at this point. And it's, believe it or not, there's a pop, there's millions of people walking around the street with her same attitude, and you know, as as YouTube would have it, they don't want to talk about those things. You know, if anybody makes any comments on it, like I do, I love to comment on this shit. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot of other people that do too. If they would allow people, the amount of people that probably talk on this subject to talk about it, they would have to change their ways and YouTube would have to go along with it. But right now, whoever's in control of these algorithms will continuously keep us from bringing this to the forefront where it needs to be and where it needs to be dealt with. That's why right now so many things that people get away with and we're living in 2024 from when I was growing up, it was a different story, man. People like this were everyday fucking normal and the cops would back them up to be able to do what they do. Walk around yelling that they're white and white and proud and all this other fucking shit. That would be normal. You know, and anybody said anything against it, they would be arresting us and beating us up. So I'm glad that these videos come up, but uh, without any more of my interjections, Let's let's check this out. It's getting it's getting kind of fun now. All I said was, are you white? All I said was, are you no, white? I can't give you go all the way down with it. No, this is here we are. Is that better? Are you white? Are you white? Let's go. Are you white? Let's go. Are you white? Let's go. Oh, good job. Good job. Stop. Stop it. Stop with this. Excuse what? us. Walk. Wow. 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 Are you, are, are you white? 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 Yes. Now, seriously, it's like she's lost her fucking mind. She's just walking down the, you know, the uh, airport now in handcuffs yelling, are you white? Like, somehow that is supposed to, uh, I guess depict what she was actually meaning when she was saying i'm white i'm white <laughs> so you know this is like real madness and this is the madness that exists in america i would say 
no other country in the world has this type of madness. And it used to be an accepted madness, guys. That was normal when a woman would just, or any person white would walk down being so proud they would yell and scream how white they are and be able to you get the cops to be on their side and said, yes, you are white and I'm white and let's kill these black people. But she's not, you know, she can tell she's a bit older and she probably comes from a time where that was okay to do what she did and she probably had a few drinks and felt like, you know, a little time warp just now and she went back in time and then, you know, she, as they say, instant karma, I say instant fucking reality hits her ass, you know, <laughs> and she realizes, wait a second, I'm not in my high school days anymore. No, bitch, you're here in this world right now at this time, and that shit doesn't happen anymore, and it, we won't allow it to happen. So that's where you're at. So sober the fuck up, you know, that's a good wake up call for her and anyone else. This is what happens if you ask someone if you're white. This is what happens if you ask someone if you're white. As if the constant yelling and struggling weren't enough, by the time they make it outside, Cynthia takes her resistance to a new level. Wow, are you white? Don't ask someone if you're white. Don't ask someone if you're white. Don't ask someone if you're white. If you're white. Stop it. Walk. You know what the scary thing is? That there are a lot of people out there secretly walking around thinking like she does. But with that same uh, sentiment that she has, but even worse actually, because a lot of them probably are armed and dangerous. Some of them are even wearing badges and guns. But the world is changing. It's getting better. You can see that people are starting to see the insanity that their families, their cultures used to be a part of. So you can see right here by these cops doing what they're doing, and they're white, they understand and see that she's fucking crazy, and they're doing their job. So you can't say that everybody, all white people, are racist. You can't. You can say that there are remnants now, but the remnants and the cultural aspect of it definitely does exist. It's there, you know? Um, I, I like to sometimes say that in all groups that they're just assholes they're just people that are just assholes then yeah they're definitely racist and everything else but they just act more like assholes than anybody else anybody can have their preference of what they feel and whatever else but when you start coming out in public and yelling and screaming about it you turn automatically into an asshole that's what i say and i say an asshole can be a wild card anybody has the potential to be an asshole it's that simple you know and uh whether they want to call her a racist or they want to call her a Karen or they want to call her a racist Karen, she's still being an asshole one way, one way or another, uh, whether you look at it that way or not. That's, that's, the, that's to me what it comes down to. So I take away the whole aspect of race in this and I just say it's more genetic. These motherfuckers are just assholes, and that's it. Leave it at that. Watch you, watch you, watch you. You're not going to find yeah, anyone no if you're white. If you're white. Yeah, are, go ahead. Are you white? She has white stuff on her nose. Are oh, you dude. white? All I ask is, are you white? Are you white? Are you white? Don't move. Put your feet out straight now. I'm not going to go. Put your feet out straight. Shut, Don't move. Shut the f*** up. Kick me once. Hey. We're done. Can you imagine uh, living in a time that it was so good that you could go around just yelling that you're white and basically offending anyone that you wanted to and the law would be on your side? That's the time period that she comes from, most definitely. You can look at that and see it. And, uh, boy, you know, I, I grew up in those times when I was a kid, you know, and uh, I remember what it was like. You know, uh, it was a scary fucking time. And for some reason, like I said, she did a time warp by having a few drinks and maybe believing that she lived in that time period again. Well, guess what? You don't. It's a whole new fucking day. And that time period's gone. Hopefully it will never come back again for any race. For no one to walk out and say, I'm black, I'm proud, I'm, I'm brown, I'm proud, I'm this, I'm proud. Fuck all that shit. We're all human. We're passing through these bodies. We're going to fucking live and die in these fucking bodies. And then we're out. And that's it. You're only going to be white for a certain amount of fucking time until you die. <laughs> You're only going to be fucking black for a certain amount of time until you die. <laughs> so what's the use of walking around saying that I'm any fucking color? It doesn't make no fucking sense. You know, like if you're going to live like 
let's say, you know, for eternity, you could go around saying that shit, you know. <laughs> but uh, I think these are people that just don't realize that, you know, life doesn't last forever. You're not going to be in these bodies forever, guys, you know. Yes, this is a form of instant karma. I love the fact that they use karma as the name up there because that is representative of my brown people in India. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm brown, goddammit. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's let's look at this. Are you white? Are you white? Are you white? The yelling continues for quite some time as the officers arrange for emergency medical services to come take a look at her. The only thing I is, are you white? You go. Are you white? Are you white? Eventually, the incessant yelling takes a slightly different, but still very bizarre tone. Oh no, I said black! I said the word black! I said the word black. You're beating the sh Black! Black! This is because I'm not black! Hey, lady, I'm not black! Hey, shut your mouth. Hey! Now, this shit's getting funny now, because now she's switching it from being I'm, I'm white to I'm not black, and this white cop knows better. He's like, Listen, shut your mouth, hey lady. Hey lady, shut shut your mouth. <laughs> Cause he knows that at any moment BLM could start up and there'd be a fucking riot and they'd tear down the entire fucking airport <laughs> and then start robbing all the stores. And he was like, Please, lady, please don't cause our us to lose the airport. Shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> For people like that, they should have something where they could just like, you know, uh tie around their mouths like one of those things that you see like in bsdm or bdsm or whatever the fuck it's called uh you know the chains and whips and all that stuff but they have that that hog tie thing that they put around the mouth they should have one of those for the police to put around her mouth just in case she starts a fucking riot over there you know it's like you know you can tell the cop's scared he's smart he's like i don't want to fucking uh, try to stop a riot you can't stop a riot and you know when black people start to riot man boy that's that would be a bad situation <laughs> so Okay, let's see how let, let's see where she goes from from I'm white time uh, to what well, she went from I'm white are she goes are you white to I'm not black and it's because I because I and then she goes it's because I'm not I'm not black that that I'm getting arrested which is really funny so let's see uh, I'm not black enough no I'm not black I'm not black I'm white. Okay, I can't help but laugh because this shit's fucking funny. You know, I mean, she's like, this is really what I really sometimes feel like a lot of white people feel deep down inside. Like, they just lose their fucking shit and, and they'll, you know, I'm white. Like, that's supposed to mean something special. Like, that's how fucking dumb some people are. You know, like, they feel like the world has to stop and everybody has to stop what they're doing because they're white. What, what a fucking wake-up call that, that you get these days. And you have to say that, yes, the world has changed, man. But it just shows the fucking insanity of some of these people. I don't want to go into, like, start starting this, you know, who, who's inferior and who's superior. Like, there's a lot of black people that will start getting into that. And I used to get into that, too. There was one point in my life where I was like, that's right, black people are, are superior to, to, to white people. Until I met black people and acted just like these racist white motherfuckers. And then they didn't want to admit it. As soon as I saw that, I was like, they're not fucking superior. They're just as fucking fucked up as white people, you know? <laughs> and I'm saying that from being an American born here in this country and growing up in the streets of Brooklyn and the backwoods of Texas. And I'm telling you straight up that this insanity has been here for quite a long time. And it's spread, definitely spread to the black race where they're doing the exact same things that the ignorant white people did back then. Even in positions that they are now, they still have the same fucked up attitude as their white predecessors. So, you know, that argument doesn't stand, you know, wh whether you're white or black and proud, okay? White and proud, black and proud, they got to get rid of that shit. You know, we're all human beings, and that's what it has to come down to. Um, there, there, there are some iniquities that happen here and there, but, but, but doing this type of shit isn't going to fix that. You can't walk around the streets yelling white pride or black pride or any kind of pride like that. Be fucking happy and proud that you're human and that God created us here together on this planet. 
and that we should be working together for God, you know, to, to, I don't know which God, you can choose your fucking God if you want, but I'm just saying for God, if there is a God, and, and that's how we should be doing it, you know, and, uh, you know, being an Indian man, you know, I have uh, options to pick from as well, there's Muslim, Hindu, Christian, well, none of us can be Jewish because they're the chosen ones, right, this happened to be a bunch of Europeans smack in the middle of fucking the desert, somehow, these really, really pasty white people, somehow ended up in the middle of the desert and they're claiming land there's no fucking way if you look at it from an evolutionary standard if you believe in evolution or if even if you believe in the bible itself that they were the ones that that inherited that land it would make no fucking sense you know <laughs> because it just doesn't follow any kind of scientific backing at all none none whatsoever you know it's like these people that have that kind of skin usually migrated uh more towards uh places that were cold they would never be found in a very hot area so and also all the things that they're claiming uh, from a 2000 year old uh book which is the books of abraham and moses the old testament you know i like to bring that up because people don't realize how deep this shit goes and and uh how deluded people have been and they're able to do some of the things that they're able to do because nobody ever did anything to stop them. So I think that America, because they can't really allow people to kill people like they do in Israel, that, that they're going to fund the other countries that will perpetuate racism, like how they're killing off the children in Palestine. I think that parts of America misses doing these things here in America. So we're going to give tens of billions of dollars to the countries that do kill young children of color in a genocide that's what america's standing for now which is a fucking sad fact but anyway let's i'll make another video on that let's get back to this fun one and and see how far she takes this white rhetoric and where the fuck it actually goes Okay, I just had to stop this here because now she's saying that her grandfather. We, we went for okay, we went a whole bunch of places just now. She started off with "I'm white," I can't say I'm white, I'm white. To "You're white," I can't say you're white, you're white. And she started asking everybody, "You're white, you're white. Are you white? Are you white?" And she went from "Are you white?" to "Look, I'm not black. I'm not black." To, from "I'm not black," to, it's because I'm black. To "My grandfather is black." Now you try. You have to really try. And feel it. Right now, if she's probably thinking, if the cops are that afraid to say anything, maybe I should shut the fuck up and turn this thing around. <laughs> I think a lot of what she's doing is just fear based. You know, first it started off as this pride thing, and it turned into fear based afterwards. And you know, a lot of it is ignorance. And then again, another good example of this is that when you drink, these are usually the outcomes of when you when you get inebriated, and you go out in public. And, you know, some people, they say that alcohol brings out your true colors. That's sort of saying. I think it brings out the true ignorance. It doesn't matter what color you are. It brings out the true ignorant asshole inside of you. You know, I think that's the only thing that alcohol and drugs do. And uh, I think that's what she's doing. Now, I want to see where she goes from all those other, uh, I guess, uh, descriptions of herself and where she comes from or what she belongs to or whatever the hell it is that she's proud about. But we're at right now we are at the stage of my grandfather is black. We started off from I'm white to my grandfather is black. And uh, I'm not sure where this is going, but I'm very curious to see. By the time EMS arrives, Cynthia is noticeably disoriented. That's when she finally admits all of this started because she didn't want to wear a mask. I just said to people, quit wearing your mask. That's all I said. That's all I said. Okay, now I'm really fucking confused because she's saying that it all started because she didn't want to wear a mask and she said I'm not wearing a mask. But there's a lot of people not wearing masks there. So <laughs> and you look through, when you look through the airport, no one was wearing a fucking mask. So it doesn't make any fucking sense now. She went from I'm white to what was it? I'm white uh are you white to uh this is confusing. I'm white to are you white 
to I'm not black is because I'm black and my grandfather is black to I'm not wearing a mask. And now she's claiming that's where she started. This story makes no fucking sense. But but the funny thing is that there was a point in time in history where this story would make sense to people and they would probably end up killing an innocent black person over something crazy like this. I do believe that in the there is some kind of mental thing that goes on within the white community, the white race, the white society, that they lose their fucking minds like this, and it's happening more and more where they're just coming out and acting this fucking crazy, you know, and they get upset when people speak about their racism and people are upset about it, but hey, you look like an average fucking drug addict sitting on the fucking street yelling you're white. There is something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> You know, and uh, expect people to be upset and be angry. No one has, to, no one needs or has to put up with that type of fucking craziness. You know, she belongs like all these other motherfuckers belong in a mental hospital. That's where they belong. They should be put back in a fucking cave where they come from. You know, and uh, you can't just go out in, in life and think just because you're a skin color that you can be superior or do anything. That's just fucking insanity. But, um,. You know, sometimes I, I kind of get upset when I look at it, but then you can't really get upset because you realize there's something else going on. Okay, put it this way. If it's not a mental disorder, let's say that if this is not something mental, then there's something spiritual going on. Then she's got some kind of demon or something that's telling her to go out and be proud of who she is and her skin color and to yell it and scream it. That would make no fucking sense any, any which way you look at it, you know? So I don't believe that, you know, if there was a Christ... And the part of the world that he was in, you know, they always paint him with the blonde hair and the blue eyes and all that stuff. But it makes no sense in that part of the world. He'd be the only blonde hair, blue eyed motherfucker walking around in the desert. You know, it would make no fucking sense. You know, so I don't know. It's just all these things just make no sense. But they're interesting to look at. I'll tell you that. I kind of enjoy watching this because it's, you know, it's teaching me. At the same time, it also shows how fucking crazy they are. And they ripped me up and told me, oh, you Okay, on a human level, what the guy, the ambulance just said is a bit concerning. She's human. She doesn't realize it, that we're all human. Uh, that kind of brings it back to me, you know, right back around to us being human. It just brings the reality of it more. He says that her vitals are elevated. Now, really what's going on here, guys, every human being, regardless of race, color, or religion, should be concerned because it's a woman that's a bit, a little bit older and her vital signs are very high. That means that she'd be at risk for stroke or heart attack. And she's also inebriated at the same time. So the risk is extremely high. So if you did care about human beings, not about skin color, you would be very worried about her right now. Like as soon as I found out, she's almost 60 years old, which makes sense to what I was saying earlier about the time period she comes from and what she grew up in. She doesn't live in that world today, right? But I almost feel bad for her because, you know, not the fact that, you know, her whiteness isn't working for her, but the fact that she feels that she had to go out and do that. There's a part of me that feels like, wow, in her life, things have changed so much that she's freaking out like this. You know, but it's unfortunate that the world was like that in the first place. So whose fault really was this? It's not her fault. You know, it's her forefather's fault. It's the people that started this that made uh, that made people feel entitled. You know, and uh, you have to blame the government for that. You have to blame whoever was at the threshold of the government, whoever had the control and the power at the time. It wasn't the people that were just living. We we're we're all just affected by what they do. Whatever they say is right. Whatever they say we have to do, we have to do. And and whatever they allowed to happen, they allowed it for a reason. Just like they do on social media. They have the same power in social media to do the exact same thing. They pick and choose who they want to have any kind of uh, you know, uh, um, success in anything they do. They have that power. It's unfortunate they have that power because then they don't allow the people that can use their brains to actually express themselves and to even rectify certain situations. They don't want that. They love making money off the chaos and destruction. Like this woman here is somebody's grandmother, somebody's mother, somebody's sister. 
But YouTube loves the fact that we can exploit her, which I'm trying not to exploit her. It is, there was a part of me that was thought it was funny up to this point when I realized her health is on the line. And I would do this whatever color you are, because if you truly care about all people, you would feel something. Like, I look at that, and I'm just like, wow, you know, this this is a serious situation now. God forbid she does have a heart attack or a stroke and dies because of whatever she's going through at this very moment. Not everybody is crazy 24-7. I get to those points, too, because I told you I suffer with PTSD from the racism I faced in life. Well, like I said, I'm human, and I understand that she's human. And we have to connect on that human level. And that's really what it comes down to. And, and uh, you know, I'm going to keep emphasizing that every time that we get into these conversations. Because we need to have this conversation. I think it's important. <laughs>